guys, and welcome back to another video. We are back in front of the bookshelves again because today I am going to be going through all of the books that I own that I've not read yet. For this video, I am not going to be including the books from my 2022 TBR. Those are the ones upstairs, which I have done a full 2022 TBR as well as a quick um, reading room tour, which I will leave linked so that you can go check that out if you're interested in those books. So these are all of the books that I own that are unread, that I have hauled, that are not going to be read this year for one reason or another. Without further ado though, let's get into the video. From the top shelf, which is the Robin Hobb shelf, <laughs> right on cue, um, I have not read the Soldier's Son trilogy, um, which is her only adult series that is not set in the realm of the Elderlings that she has penned under the name Robin Hobb. And that includes Shaman's Crossing, Forest Mage, and Renegade Magic. Moving on to some other adult fantasy, we have the Magician's Guild, book one of the Black Magician trilogy by Trudy Kavanagh. The first three books in the Second Era Mistborn or Wax and Wayne series by Brandon Sanderson, the last book of which comes out this year. And we have Alloy of Law, Bands of Mourning, and Shadows of Self. The Books of Amber series by Tasha Suri, consisting of Empire of Sand and Realm of Ash. And the first two books in Philip Pullman's Book of Dust series, the first book being La Belle Sauvage, and the second book being The Secret Commonwealth. Troy by Stephen Fry. Smoke and Mirrors by Neil Gaiman. The Fatal Gates by Ian Irvine. This is the gajillionth book in a long series of extended universe series um, by this author. I did once own the first book, but it got damaged before I could read it. So I saw this one, picked it up, and at some point, hopefully it will remind me to pick up the rest of the series. The Legacy of Honour bind up by Elizabeth Moon, which consists of Surrender None and Liar's Oath, which are the prequels to the Deed of Pax Scenarian series, which is, I believe, her most popular series. A random assortment of Darini books by Catherine Kurtz. I cannot actually read any of these as I do not have the first book in any of the Darini series. Um, but I do have a random assortment and I am hoping to collect these as and when I can. But we have Hi Darini, uh, The Quest for St. Camber, The King's Justice, and the Dorini Archives. The Once and Future King Complete Omnibus Edition by T.H. White. This is a bind up of all five books in this series. The Passion of Cleopatra, the second book in the Ramesses the Damned series by Anne Rice and Christopher Rice. I have a random assortment of Tad Williams books in uh, all of the awkward sizes and none of which are readable. So I have Shadow Play, which is the second book in the Shadow March series in this massive American trade paperback. And two books in the Memory Sorrow Thorn series, neither of which is the first book. I have book two, which is the Memory, the Stone of Farewell. And book three, which is To Green Angel Tower, part two. And finally, for Tad Williams, I also have The War of the Flowers, which is a standalone. So I could actually read this one. For some other random books, I have The Demonologist by Andrew Piper. The Long Earth by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter. This is the first book in this series and I have heard mixed reviews about it, which has severely diluted my interest in this series. The Cosmic Trilogy by C.S. Lewis, which consists of Out of the Silent Planet, Perelandra and The Hideous Strength. This is uh, C.S. Lewis's sci-fi series. Troy by David Gimmel. I believe this is the first book in a trilogy. 
The Empire Trilogy by Raymond E. Feist and Jenny Wirtz, consisting of Daughter of the Empire, Servant of the Empire, and Mistress of the Empire. I don't know why she is slowly but surely being demoted. Another sci-fi classic that I have is Airframe by Michael Crichton. I have not read any Michael Crichton yet. I am interested in picking up some of his works. I am more interested, obviously, in Jurassic Park, but I have heard great things about this one as well. I have this hideous, tiny mass market paperback version of The Name of the Wind that I'm not sure I'll be keeping a hold of, and I'll probably be getting the proper versions if the series does ever conclude. And I have Guinevere, The Night of the Sacred Lake by Rosalind Miles. This is the second book in the Guinevere series. And finally, for mass market paperbacks, I have uh, the first two books in the Bitterbine series by Cecilia Dart Thornton, which are The Ill-Made Mute and The Lady of the Sorrow. The only manga that I have not read is the One Piece Volume 1 that I have, Romance Dawn, um, by Echiro Oda. And the only graphic novel I own that I have not read is Volume 1 of The Boys. I have a huge assortment of Terry Pratchett books, two of which are not Discord related, which are Truckers, the first book in the Truckers series, I think it's called. And The Flying Sorcerers, which is one of the books in the comic tales of fantasy. Now for actual Discworld books, I have The Colour of Magic, The Light Fantastic, uh, Equal Rights, Mort, The Fifth Elephant, Feet of Clay, Sorcery, Carpe Jugulum, Lords and Ladies, Hogfather, and Raising Steam. No, I do not know if any of these are in order. From the YA shelves, I do actually only have three books, which are The Saviour's Champion by Jenna Moretti, Donde los Árboles Cantan by Laura Gallego García, and The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. This one, namely because it's the second book in the series, that's why it's unread. Moving on to some middle grades now, I have a couple of more Philip Pullman's books which are a couple of the Sally Lockett's uh, Mysteries series, which are The Tiger in the Well and The Ruby in the Smoke. I have the first two books in the Bartinius sequence by Jonathan Stroud, which are The Amulet of Samarkand and The Golem's Eye. I have the second book in the Goth Girl series by Chris Rydell, uh, The Goth Girl and The Fet Worse Than Death. The first three books in the Keys to the Kingdom series by Garth Nix, consisting of Mr. Monday, Grim Tuesday, and Drowned Wednesday. I have the first four books in the Pendragon series by DJ McHale, consisting of The Merchant of Death, The Lost City of Far, The Never War, and The Reality Bug. Finally, I have two collections of short story fantasy style things by Ruth Manning Sanders. The first one being uh, Gianni and the Ogre, and the other being The Book of Giants. Sorry about the lighting and the angle being a lot less flattering here. The lighting just in this part of the room is terrible and uh, nothing really I can do about it. So here we are. Anyway, and um, this is my historical fiction shelf. So these are the historical fiction and non-fiction books that I have not yet read. And we have uh, My Brief History by Stephen Hawking. That's Another Story by Julie Walters. Che Guevara by Lucia Álvarez de Toledo. The Spanish Civil War by Paul Preston. And finally, Becoming by Michelle Obama. Starting out with historical fiction, I have two Antonia Frazier books, which are The Six Wives of Henry VIII and Marie Antoinette. Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantle. I am hoping to pick up the second and third books and binge read this trilogy. The first two books in the War of the Roses series by Con Eagleden, which are Bloodline and Stormbird. A massive assortment of Philippa Gregory books. This is what I have managed to collect so far from the Tudor Court series, which is the second half of her uh, Tudor and Plantagenet overall series. 
Uh, so this obviously follows the reign of King Henry onwards. So we have the Taming of the Queen, the Constant Princess, the Berlin Inheritance, the Virgin's Lover, The Other Berlin Girl, The Queen's Fall, and The Other Queen. Moving on to my Spanish shelf, most of this is rather embarrassingly unread. And we have La Llave Maestra by Agustin Sánchez Vidal, La Tierra Maldita by Juan Francisco Fernández, La Catedral de la Luz by Rubén Laurín, El Mapa del Fin del Mundo by Ignacy Serrajima. La Trilogía de Trajano by uh, Santiago Posteguillo, which consists of Los Asesinos del Emperador, uh, Circo Máximo a La Legión Perdida. La Mano de Fátima by Ildefonso Falcones. And the entire Cementerio de Libros Olvidados series or the uh, Cemetery of Forgotten Books, I can't remember exactly what the series is called in English, by Carlos Ruiz Zafón, the most famous one being La Sombra del Viento, The Shadow of the Wind. Then I have El Juego del Ángel, also called The Angel's Game. El Prisionero del Cielo, which I don't know the title of in English. And finally, El Laberinto de los Espíritus. Moving on to some more historical fictions, we have All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dow. The Midwife of Venice by Roberta Rich, The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogen Hermes Gower, and Winter in Madrid by C.J. Sampson. I have an absolute ton of Louis de Bernier's books, so I have his entire Latin American trip, which consists of uh, The War of Don Emmanuel's Nether Parts, Signor Vivo and the Coca Lord, and the troublesome offspring of Cardinal Guzman, as well as two of his standalones, which are Captain Corelli's Mandolin and Birds Without Wings. The Last Conquest 1066 by Berwick Coates, A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Towles, and The Mountains Echoed by Kayla Tusini, The Girl with the Painted Face by Gabriella Kim, Hannibal Clouds of War by Ben Kane. The first two books in the River God series by uh, Wilbur Smith, which consists of The River God and Eagle in the Sky. Two of Robert Harris's standalones, which are Pompeii and Fatherland. And the last of the historical fictions is the Brethren trilogy by Robin Young, consisting of Brethren, Crusade and Requiem. Remember what I was saying earlier about terrible lighting? It just gets worse from here on in. But these are the last shelves, which are my classics and my literary fiction. The Road to Wigan Pier by George Orwell. Day and Night by Virginia Woolf. Selected Short Stories by Guy de Maupassant. Miss Marple's Final Cases by Agatha Christie. Five Children and It by E. Nesbitt. American Indian Stories, Legends and Other Writings by Azit Kala Shah and African Myths of Origin, the Penguin Classics collection. And now finally moving on to the literary fiction shelf, which is a very, very, very unread shelf. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Mouthful of Birds by Samantha Shreeblin, 77 Clocks by Christopher Fowler, Tuesdays with Murray, and For One Day More, both by Mitch Albom, a Season of the Dead by David Hewson, Bridge of Clay and I Am the Messenger, both by Marcus Zusak, The City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert, La Librera y el Ladron by Oliver Espinosa, The Secret History by Donna Tart, and Saturday by Ian McEwan. And that is it. Those are all of my unread books. Thank you so much for watching if you have managed to wait out this long. So in the comments down below, let me know which of these books you think I should be prioritizing and which ones you think should even make their way onto my 2022 list should I have time to read more books. Um, while you're down there, don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you've not already. Hit the bell icon if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. 
In the description box, you'll find links to my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, Storygraph, and my blog, in case you want to check me out on any of those. And that is all for this video. Just a massive list of books I've not gotten to. Anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Bye!